Hey guys, a bird again once I hear. Welcome to another uh, match review for Manchester United. Um, Wednesday night we faced Basel in the Champions League away in Switzerland. And let me just say it didn't go too well at all actually. Um, let's get that out of the way. Um, yeah, it did not go well at all. Um, if you guys didn't know, we're in Champions League and all we needed was one point to go through to um, round of 16. Is it the knockout stages or is it round of 16? I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Um, first half, let's, have, let's get a review on that. Um, we absolutely dominated Basel. Uh, we hit the post and we hit the bar. Um, we did have a weak team out though. We didn't have the hair in there. Um, Lukaku was playing. But I, I, I think our defence and our goalkeeper were weak. Um, our attack was strong. But... We just didn't couldn't score in the first half. Then in the second half, what I think Marino said, in my opinion, I think he said, okay, first half, at the beginning of the first half, I think he said, um, go out in the first half, try as hard as you can. I think, no, not try as hard as you can. Just try and get us a goal in the first half. If not, we can sit back in them in the second half because all we need is a draw. Um, second half, Basel, um, FC Basel came at us really, really strong, um, and like they hit the bar as well. I hit, yeah, they hit the bar as well. Um, and wait, there, let me just let me just put this here. Okay, let me just go on Google. Let me just see the um the. Let me just see um the ta find the table. Um, sorry, it's not a very good angle right now. Champions League table. Ah, okay. Oh shit. Oh, we we really fucked it, haven't we? Okay. If you can see there, um, Manchester United are on twelve, then Basel and Moscow are on nine. I see, but we're sorted with goal difference, though, aren't we? Kinda. We're kind of sorted with goal difference. We've got four on Basel. And minus one on Moscow. So, as it stands, we are top of the table by three. So, last game of... Okay. That means... Okay. That means Moscow have got to beat us 7-0 on Old Trafford. If we... And if that happens... Oh my god. So, as it stands, we are top of the table on 12 points. Basel on second with 9. Third, CSK Moscow with 9. And Benfica on 0. No points, no drawn. Those all lost. And... I really want... And, by the way, our, our last game is against CSK Moscow at home. So, hopefully the atmosphere is going to be really good there. But, going on to the game, in the 89 minutes, they, they get... Um, I'd say a sweaty goal, I'd say, but credit to um, the cross, it was actually a really good um, crossing, and they just tap it in, and it's 1-0 to Basel in the 89th minute. And all we needed was a draw, and we did not get it, which was really, really bad, but um, like, I'm, I'm not happy with it at all. Um, I'm disappointed in the players, I'm disappointed in Jose for thinking that, or if he did, I'll just do some more research when this video is over. Um, but I do hope this ain't an ongoing spread of losses. Even though we did win four one to um, Newcastle, we went we we won four one to Newcastle. They did go first. They they did score first. Let's get that in mind. Um, but so I've had three reviews on this on my channel so far, and we've had two losses and a win. Um, not so good. Not but to be honest. It's more interesting when we lose or draw, because I've got more stuff to talk about, in my opinion. When we win, I'm just like, yeah, we won. But, yeah, hopefully, we can win against CSK Moscow at Old Trafford. But they need to beat us 7-0, and that will not happen. They could beat us, but I promise you that will not happen. And that means... And also, at the same time, if we lose, that means Basel have got to win... Um, against Benfica 4-0 
what are the odds? Um, yeah, so that's basically what I've got to say for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do like if you are enjoying my uh, Manchester United crew reviews or just generally any predictions or reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching and see ya.